Hello and welcome to another Discord bot tutorial. Today we will be creating a bot that can gather and display server information. Before we get started, make sure to check out the other videos in my Discord bot series, which are linked in the description. Let's begin. So right now I'm in PyCharm and I have this file called server-info. This is going to be the file we're coding in. And right now I have some basic things laid out like the importing discord, the importing the commands library, we're setting our command prefix to this exclamation point, and we have our client.run. So let's start by creating our command that's going to allow us to get server information. So we can say at client.command with these parentheses, and right below that we're going to create an asynchronous function called server and we're going to pass in ctx which stands for context now to gather information about the server we can actually use a property of ctx we can use the ctx dot guild property so essentially this is an object that has many many properties and if we go to the discord pi documentation we can see all of those properties and choose the ones we want to include in our server information. So here I have the Discord docs open and I'm going to go to the section called guild and this is actually a class and these are the specific properties of this class so we can get the name of the guild, the emojis, the region, all of this information, the maximum members, even the icon URL there are a ton of properties that this class has. So I actually picked out a few that I thought were appropriate for this command. So the first one is the name of the command. So let's create variables for each of these properties. So we can say name equals ctx.guild and then just dot name. Next, let's get the description of the guild. So let's say description equals ctx.guild.description. We're also going to include the owner of the guild. We're going to get the ID of the guild. The region. And the member count. So most of these property names are self-explanatory. The owner is going to give you the owner, the ID is going to give you the ID. And the last one we're going to do is the icon, and we'll say that is equal to ctx.guild.icon underscore URL. So we have all the information we need here that we collected from this guild class. So now we're going to create a fancy embed. So once we call this command, it's going to send that embed and display all that information. So we can say embed equals discord dot embed. And then inside of here, we're going to have a few fields. So the title of this embed will say is equal to the name of our server and then we'll plus and say server information. Then add that comma. Next we're going to have the description and we're just going to set that to the description of the guild if it has one. And lastly if we want we can give the embedded color. I'm just going to say discord.color.blue and then that's all that's going to be in there. Next, let's set the embed thumbnail to the server URL. So we'll say to the server's icon. So we'll say URL equals icon. We're also going to add a few fields, but before we do that, we just have to make sure that each of these variables is a string. So we're going to 
encase all of these variables in a string. All right, so to add a field, we can say embed.add underscore field. And then there's three values that we need to put in here. One is the name of the field. And let's call this field owner. And we'll set the value equal to our owner variable. And then lastly, we're going to set inline equal to true. That just makes sure that the field aligns correctly. But you'll see what I mean when we actually run this and use the command. I'm just going to copy this to add another field and just change the values within. We're going to have a field for the server ID. One for the region. And lastly, one for the member count. All right, it looks like our embed is structured correctly and ready to go. And the last thing we need to do is await ctx.send, and then we'll say embed equals embed. This is essentially going to send this embed we created as an embed to the server once we run this command. So I'm just going to run this code. And when I type exclamation point server, we should get something like this. Right now we have this embed here. It says tutorial server information, which is the name of the server. Um, I don't have a description for the server, so it's going to say none. But if you did have a description, it would obviously show up there. We have the owner, which is me. We have the server ID, and we also have the region as well as the member count. So essentially, this is how you create a command that gathers information about your server and displays it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe.